What is LEED? LEED stands for Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design and is a green building rating system that was released publicly by U.S. Green Building Council in 2000. LEED provides third-party verification for the design, construction, and operations of superior green buildings. There are five primary LEED rating system reference guides and each is geared towards a specific project type. The LEED Reference Guide for Building Design and Construction is appropriate for most new construction in addition to school projects, core and shell buildings, and major renovations. Next, there's the LEED Reference Guide for Interior Design and Construction, which focuses primarily on commercial interiors projects. Third is LEED for Homes, which covers high-performance residences that are less than four stories. At a larger scale comes LEED for Neighborhood Development, which is set up to pair green building with smart growth and urbanism. And finally, there's LEED for Existing Buildings Operations and Maintenance, a system that helps building operators and owners minimize environmental impacts by maximizing operational efficiency. Buildings can receive one of four certification levels as a result of following the standards set forth by the LEED Green Building Rating Systems. These certification levels are Certified, Silver, Gold, and Platinum. While buildings can get LEED certified, people get LEED accredited. Well, what are the LEED credentials? First, you have LEED Green Associate, and then there's LEED AP, which stands for LEED Accredited Professional. Green Associate is the introductory level accreditation and signifies your general understanding of the primary LEED rating systems in addition to a handful of USGBC recommended readings. The more advanced LEED AP credential demonstrates that an individual is truly an expert in one or more of the LEED rating systems. So how can you get LEED accredited? There are a few different paths you can take to achieve LEED accreditation, and the route you take depends on whether or not you have experience working on a LEED registered project. If you do not have LEED project experience, you will need to start by either showing that you work in a sustainable field or by taking an educational course on green building. From there, you will be eligible to sit for the LEED Green Associate exam. Once you pass, you're awarded the LEED Green Associate credential. If you would like to move on to the LEED AP credential, you must first gain experience working on a LEED registered project. Once you get that experience under your belt, you are eligible to take the LEED AP exam. Now, if you do have experience working on a LEED registered project within the last three years, you can either split up the exams in separate testing sessions, taking the Green Associate first, followed by the AP exam of your choice, or you can register to take the LEED AP combined exam, taking both exams on the same day. Where and when do you take the tests? There are two organizations involved with the credentialing process. First, you have Green Building Certification Institute, who acts as gatekeeper. And then there's Prometric, a national testing agency that administers all LEED exams. The computer-based tests are given on demand and are administered based on your local testing center's availability. The fun part? You get your score directly after taking the exam. Do you still have questions about LEED certification or accreditation? Visit GreenEDU.com to learn more.